Okay, here they are, the subject of today's video, but first let's get into that package opening footage that we all know and love. It sound right, boys. So I got me a pair of Atreus and I am just about to go out for my very first run in these shoes. But first I wanted to tell you just a little bit about Atreyu and about these shoes because they're not the normal shoe. They're not the normal shoe company. So at the filming of this video, Atreyu has one shoe that is available to the public. This is it. It does come in several different colorways, but I couldn't turn down this pink sole. This pink midsole is just beautiful. It's a nice looking shoe. Atreyu does have a carbon fiber shoe coming out pretty soon. I am signed up to get that. I have actually already bought it, but it's still in production. It's not coming out till next year, but stay tuned to the channel for that. This shoe is so incredibly light. Atreyu says that the men's size 9 comes in at 6 ounces. My shoe in men's size 13 US 12 UK comes in at 7.4 ounces or 209 grams. Now a shoe that is so light, they're gonna have to make some cuts. It's very difficult to make a shoe this light and the upper is one piece. It's very thin. There is some padding around this heel collar and the heel counter is very squishy. The main thing to tell you guys about is the midsole. That's all there is. There is no rubber on the outside. That is a huge reduction in weight by leaving the rubber off. It is just, it's one piece of midsole. You can see this written right here, strike here, giving you a recommendation of where you should ideally be striking. On the other side, can you see this? It's like perfect for shoe tubers. It's a six millimeter offset. It's a neutral shoe made for distance and road. The tongue is nice and thin and it kind of looks like a suede material. I doubt it's really suede, but that's the kind of material it looks like. There is 15.5 millimeters in the forefoot, 21.5 millimeters in the heel. That's not a huge stack height. But on the Trey's website, they do point out to scientific studies that point out that there is no evidence that supports a low stack height or low cushioning results in running injuries. You know what I'm saying? In fact, they do point out another study that says increased running injuries may be due to higher stack heights and like these maximalist shoes. One of the tray use selling points is that there is no vanity overlays. There's no heavy rubber and no useless details. That pretty much sums up this shoe in a nutshell. It is very minimalist. There's none of this extra nonsense going on. It's just a running shoe. It looks like a pretty good one. I am really excited to try this out. Let's talk briefly about how much these cost because you can buy one pair for $95, but they do offer a subscription service and that brings the price down to $55 a shoe. What does the subscription actually do? It actually allows them to foresee how many shoes they're going to be selling so they can lower the price in response to that. If you find that you're not running as much one month, you can always spread it out or you can skip a subscription delivery. This very light, somewhat minimalist shoe with no rubber on the outsole does come at a trade-off and that is durability. Obviously we're running on midsole. There is none of that heavy rubber that makes a shoe resilient. I think I've seen that most people are getting around 150 to 200 miles in this shoe. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I do the full review after 100 miles and we'll see how these shoes are holding up. Okay enough jabbering about a shoe that I haven't yet run in. I am going to take this out for its first run and when I come back we're going to talk about what I think. All right, I am excited to run in these new Atreus, and because it's a special occasion, I also have a new pair of Swiftwick socks. If you guys haven't tried Swiftwick socks, I've got a link in the show notes below. I might make sure it sound right, boy. Oh yeah, all right guys, great run. Great first run in the Atreyu running shoes. Hold on. These shoes are 
And so we already weighed them. I already told you how light they are, but when they're on your feet, they are incredibly light. It feels like there's nothing there. Before I tell you more about this shoe, this run was fantastic because the weather was so nice. You can see, you see the sun is right here on my face. It is gorgeous out. 53 degrees or about 11.67 Celsius. So it's a bit chilly right now talking to the camera. When I was running, it is just the most perfect temperature to run in. Today's run was 11.01 .01 miles, which is 17.7 kilometers an average pace of 7.46 a mile, which is about 4.50 a kilometer. And it was easy for the, for the beginning of the run. And then I started to pick it up with some minute and 30 second intervals just to see how these shoes feel when I pick up the pace. And just like I expected, they feel really good. And the weight is what it's all about. Now, I was a little concerned when, when I first went out and I first stepped, maybe the first half mile or so, I was a little concerned because they didn't feel super cushioned. And that's just because that's what I'm used to. I run in a lot of max cushion shoes and I really, I like the cush. And these felt a little firmer, but as the miles went on and I kind of got used to it, they gave me enough cushioning where I didn't feel like my body was getting beat up at all, but that firmer feel gave a more responsive feel. It actually felt like I was running, whereas some shoes, it's like, you know, you get in one of those old school Cadillacs and the ride is so soft and squishy. Not so with this. This, I could feel the road, but the right amount of road. All right, let's just go back to the upper. The upper, it is very simple. There really isn't much there. It's one layer. There's no bells and whistles in this shoe, but it locked down my foot perfectly. Nice lockdown across the laces. There was plenty of room in the toe box for my toes to display out. I had no heel slippage at all. We can see this nice little padding around the heel collar. Why add more if you don't have to? As I said, I was a little concerned going into it just because they are so minimal. I thought I was gonna feel a little beat up. They were very comfortable. I know this is my initial review of this shoe. I'm super pleased with new shoes. When I first put on a new pair of shoes, I just, I gush about them. And I feel the same way with these. Saying that, after my first run, these would do well as a daily trainer. The only downside to it being a daily trainer is the resiliency. Remember, we've got no out so rubber so they're gonna wear down pretty quickly and if you use these every day well you're gonna wear them out pretty quickly if i were you and i were buying these these would be a shoe that i wore when i wanted to pick up the pace not my bread and butter going out keeping your heart rate low just going out and churning out the miles this is going to be if you're running tempo efforts if you're going out for an interval session if you just want to go out and run fast and for a non-carbon plated shoe i think this would be good for race day i don't know how well the gopro is going to see the actual bottom of the shoe but let me just see if I can angle it like that. Now let me describe what I see on the bottom. I'm actually pretty impressed. Now I know I've only run 11 miles. I've only run 17.7 kilometers in this shoe. There is a little bit of wear on the heel on the outside edge of my shoe, which is pretty typical for me. That's where my heel brushes as I hit the ground. Other than that, they look pretty good. I was expecting them to be pretty worn down after just one run. I want you to stay tuned. If you're not already subscribed, do so right now because I will be running 100 miles in this shoe. And when I do, I'll be back with my full review. That'll give me time to, to calm down, to not be so in love with the gorgeous white, pink, and yellow colorway. It was really a treat to look down at my feet. Thanks for staying all the way to the end of the video. I will see you in a couple of days. Be kind, be happy, run well.